Jack, part one of the trilogy complete and a very good win tonight. Uh, yeah, it was it was good to kind of grind out a victory there. Um, pretty tricky uh, tricky conditions to play in, but you know, same for both teams. I think the pleasing thing was, you know, our, our defence kind of applied a lot of pressure um, today, forced them into a lot, uh, lot of mistakes, and that's that's really important in where, where the rugby is that you, you really use it as a weapon and, and force teams into into those errors. Ali's just talked upstairs about there was a big work on this week. Julian and Salvi weren't overly impressed with last week, and you guys seem to have really stood up to that. Yeah, you know, looking back on last week, you know, that that was a really kind of tough and earned. Uh, victory, we really had to fight for everything there, but there was a few really kind of basic and simple errors that we came away from that, and we, we actually conceded a lot of line breaks in the game, something that we kind of pride ourselves on, on not happening to us. So I think today um, there may have been the odd kind of slip off the tackle, kind of a half break, but I think as a whole it was a lot better, and I think you know the, the basics were definitely applied, and we've kind of taken on what we spoke about in the week. Is it a mark of this side? You're eight from eight in the Premiership now, but you're still picking holes in yourself quite, quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's a good place to be, isn't it? Um, yeah, uh, we're winning games and there's, there's still definitely improvements. You know, even today, um, quite a few things didn't go right for us. And you look at the kind of first 10 minutes or so, we're actually pretty sloppy and we just gave them three shots at the post. Um, you know, we could definitely start a game better than that. And it, even as the game went on and we started to grow a lot more confidence, there's again areas that we can definitely work on. And we're seeing the whole makeup of the squad coming through. We've got eight, nine guys away on, on international duty, but. Everyone's stepping up, and some of these young props in particular are making their mark, aren't they? They're taking their chance. Yeah, um, you know, full credit to them. Um, admittedly, the scrum was a bit messy throughout that game today, um, and as the kind of the young lads came on, Keisty and, and Streety, kind of really showed that scrum up today, it's starting to show kind of maturity and, and a lot of stability and strength in there. Um, and credit to them, you know, our set piece started to perform when they came on. So, you know, big well done to those lads. In the grand scheme of things, where where are the Chiefs moving? You know, you seem to be in a, in a very good place, but. Uh, you've obviously got two more games against these guys coming up in the future. You've got Harlequins next week. It's all coming thick and fast for you. Yeah, very much so. But it, it, short term, it's all about taking it one one game at a time. I think it was important today to get get the result and kind of lay that market down to Gloucester. But you know they'll they'll go away from this. Will that be psych psychological? You think? Is yes. It, yeah. yeah. Um, hopefully, there's a few bad bodies out there as well. Um, but I think it's just important to kind of refocus now. We've got a short turnaround for the for the Quins game. Um, and you know, when it comes around to Europe again, obviously having Gloucester back to back, it's just important to kind of take the learns from today and make sure we use them really well.